This week on Moto Man, we talk to a creative car guy and find out what the essence of concept cars has to do with a car you can drive. Concept cars. We've all seen them at car shows, but three or four years go by and the cars you and I get our hands on look nothing like the ones we've ogled years ago. Who knows what the culprit is? Safety? The economy? Or just plain reality? Whatever it is, most car guys want to know what happens in that trip from concept to the streets. Does that concept design DNA if any, make its way to the cars you and I drive. I recently met a guy that's been predicting car design for quite some time, and he brought along some great show and tell to answer this burning question. In 1990, Nissan launched its upscale brand, Infiniti. And while there were some interesting cars, there wasn't anything quite like this, the Infiniti Essence. We're here in Pebble Beach, California to learn more about the car with our head designer, Shiro Nakamura. Hi, good to see you. Shiro, welcome to the show. Nice to see you. You've brought something truly spectacular here to Pebble Beach, California. Could you yes. tell us a little bit about the car? Well, this guy is, uh, Infinity, called Infinity Essence. Okay. You know, really, the essence of uh, Infinity Design. What is this? Where is the essence of Infinity Design coming from? We want uh, Infinity is very dynamic mm -hmm. and elegant, mm -hmm. and but has to be. It's not artificial. It's uh, we we are always saying inspired by by nature. Okay. For example, uh, this kind of a uh, very waving. It's yeah. a, uh, actually wave. You know. Way yeah. over this ocean. You guys have always had very organic designs. Yes, yes. Yeah. Organic means nature. Yeah. It's not necessarily wave or trees mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. even the human body. Yeah. That's me. I'm yeah, organic. Yeah. You see that? Not necessarily male. Yeah. No, female. Oh, not necessarily. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I could yeah. be both. Yeah, more, more, maybe more we mm -hmm. are inspired by female. Okay. Uh, seriously, this is serious. Well, yeah. Because it's much more nice, positive, and neg negative yeah. transition. It's just really, yeah. I think it's, uh, we can. Inspire, learn a lot about from the some the more essentials. Yeah, we're looking very, at here. very essential. Very essential, yeah, especially very essential. this particular vehicle here. Yeah. So I'm noticing a couple of things about the car. Number one, this is really the first time you guys have brought out a design mm -hmm. that's really a striking, almost exotic car. Mm -hmm. What's the intention of this particular car? Well, we want Infinity. It's really, really premium brand. Mm -hmm. So not just a transportation. It's mm -hmm. a, you, I want people to be excited. Oh yeah, yeah. There's it's a style. Yeah, it's a style. It yeah. give you the much more emotion. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this kind of a uh, super luxury coupe mm -hmm. is the sort of uh, you know top top of yeah. the luxury. You know. So you see yeah. this as like a halo effect. Yeah, on halo the brand. effect. Is this going to come into production? We have no plan. No we plan yet. No plan. Okay. I think this is pure. Uh, this is a purely uh, concept okay. car. So this is really to tease us here. Yeah, I think it's yeah. a more more. I, w I would like to give yeah. you, know, you know what we are going to do. Okay. Not necessarily for this group. Uh -huh. We have a new sedan is coming. Okay. And we have another product coming. So some of the cues we see from this car will actually show up in some yeah, of your future uh, particularly products. Particularly for the you know the front end is <coughs> uh, this the shape of the grille with the shape of the lamp. Yeah. Is is not totally different from we have we we have today yeah for example you see well, the FX, grill is yeah the grill is FX, very similar yeah, to what you yeah, have yeah. now yeah. the headlamps it's a yeah. no the g coupe is similar yeah but th this is much more enhanced yeah it's evolution for all being honest with ourselves 
We want to grow up to be a rock star, get an apartment in Paris, and drive a Ferrari. But life has a funny way of not working out like that. Concept cars are kind of like that wannabe rock star. They just, you know, they look great. And the idea is wonderful, but they just, they don't fit into our daily lives. But here's a case where you have something that fits into your daily life, but you'd be hard pressed to tell me that that front end ain't an Infinity Essence Coupe. I love what you did here where yeah. you bow out the fenders yeah. and how wide the stance is yeah. because you've actually increased the size. Yeah, this, this is, is something that you don't really see in the current Infinity line. Really wrap around you know, the wheels. Yeah. This is a sort of you know, muscle the surrounded so by... So you're saying yes, this is the Infinity muscle car? Yeah, even must, yeah. Okay. And, uh, well, I think it's uh, the lamp shape of the grill. Mm -hmm. It's a very... Actually, it's a very simple. You yeah. know, the grill is a very simple grill, but overall shape. Yeah. This is really, I think, we want to express the you know the balance, uh, the harmony of the power. I have to and say, elegance. this is one of the first things that I've seen from your <coughs> design studio. That yeah. actually, I look at the car and it doesn't immediately tell me it's an Asian design. Mm -hmm. I look at this and I could say there's an influence, a worldwide influence, to the design of this car. Right. I. I That's one of the things I like. About yeah, it. yeah. I think we want to be uh, you know Japanese brand. Yeah. But still, you know, don't too much you know Oriental. Yeah. Shouldn't be necessary. Mm -hmm. But this is a. a a global, appeal. Yeah. I must have a global appeal. We put some in you know, the Japanese cues, yeah. like uh, you see, this is a air intake, this is a the co old, you know, in a comb. Oh, so it's old, like a lady's old comb. Lady, yeah, old lady, yeah, Japanese old oh, so lady. This yeah. is like one of these ivory combs. Yeah, right? ivory combs, and it's sometimes, yeah. you know, very well integrated. Yeah. Was People this your idea you put on this car? Yeah, I, 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 would, I would like to have something, mm -hmm. one, one hint. One hint. One Not too much. Okay. So this was something that you decided yeah. we and definitely I, want to reinforce I asked the feminine the, look of this. Design, young designers, anything you have to be inspired by old Japanese tra tra traditional things. It would be an understatement to say that most car guys are suckers for feminine shapes. So when Shiro brings up the whole idea of feminine influence on the design of the Essence Coupe, you know he's going to have a winner on his hands. But what about a real life car? Remember that little comb thing he talked about? Well, that is alive and well here in the end. The door panel, the center console, and the headliner all have that antique comb shape. Can I've noticed be. the style nowadays is you guys yeah. are actually putting yeah. full glass roofs right. on your cars. It's Even production, yeah. well, we can do this. We have Maybe we need some you know, sprit here. And then I'm noticing here as well, you actually have like a little... This is camera camera that comes For out, so this rear, is your rear, rear, view, rear camera. view camera. Do you see something like this it's supplanting coming. a mirror on your future designs? We have already tested them like this and even the, the back view mirrors. Yeah. But by camera, it's a, you know, it's a good thing the camera mm -hmm. is a, a, how can I, ultra violet? No, 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 infrared. Yeah. So you see it much more clear visibility. Yeah. Have you guys studied at all the feasibility of doing something like this? Like, is there are there laws either in, no, in I Asia, think a, Europe, or America? Still, currently, this? we have a you know we cannot do it mm -hmm. because the regulation does does I not understand. allow us. But if we can show it's a really safety, okay, and maybe government will change their you know mind. Okay, so we are working on that. Do you see yourself actually, guys, ma making the campaign to give different governments to accept this kind of design? First, we have to create a good one and show them. Okay. Yeah. So you're working on it. Yeah. So we, we may work. see this in a future Infinity Yeah, yeah. Product. I think it's not necessarily Infinity, maybe Nissan product, and uh, we have, uh, you know, Nissan. Okay, Infinity. so you start out with the Infinity yeah. brand. I mean, yeah. excuse me, the oh, Nissan Oh, yeah, brand. oh, really, really. Yeah, because the Infinity, we always put uh, highest, I mean, ad most advanced technology for Infinity vehicle. I understand. Shiro, could you show us the interior? Okay, let, let me show the interior. Oh, actually, this is a one of the best interior I think it's a, we have done. I would have to agree with you. This yeah. is stunning. And what I'm noticing, the first thing that stands out is there's actually two separate colors, but it's divided from right. one side to the yeah. other. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a sort of a, the big, so-called cockpit feeling. Okay. It's a driver-oriented, but at the same time gives That's a certain. different atmosphere yeah. for passenger. So what was the inspiration in changing the colors or separating them out? This is more in you know, a mechanical you know, performance side, okay. which is for intended to be for male. Okay. The other side 
for your maybe girlfriend or your wife. I don't know. All right. But can you know much more? So you're telling you know, us you've got, you've got a masculine side on the left correct, correct. with the wheel, and you've yeah. got the feminine side on the correct. right. And the, even, I love that idea. Even we have, you know, you see this. Now how do you call it? Coat clothes. Yeah. This is a male coat clothes. This side is the female. Coat oh, so we're actually yeah. we're in, we're interpreting the the. Yes. the, the the blazer in, in, in of the a game. male blazer, yes. and then on that side, Either. we're interpreting the female blazer. Now, we don't have any female here to demonstrate, right. but I'll let you use your mind to figure this yeah. out. How did that idea come about? How? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> it was just a brainstorm idea, you had in the show one time, right? Idea is always coming uh, suddenly or yeah. uh, with a brainstorming or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And it could come at uh, odd times. Yeah. Not necessarily yeah. always at work. How many times has your mother or someone else in your life has said to you, the devil is in the details? And in a car that's build quality, someone over in Japan at Infiniti or Nissan said, this car just has to feel right. They spent a lot of time saying, not just the top of the gauges or the seats, but also the bottom of the door panels have to feel just right. It's kind of like walking into a bespoke tailor and saying, I want a suit just for me. And that wonderful feeling of how it makes you feel. Mm -hmm. Sure, the, the, the gauges are stunning looking. What was yeah. the inspiration there? This is, you know, inspired by the maybe the watch, mm -hmm. the very nice, you know, classic. I watch. noticed you have a stunning bezel around yeah. there with bezel the rivets. and the very, yeah. uh, the, the very precise craftsmanship. The finish is almost like an yeah. IWC watch. Right. Yeah, right. You, you might need to watch out. They might sue you for this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, I think they can use our design. They can. Oh, they can. Say, that's if very they, kind of if, you to let them borrow they, your if design. They like. And I, you know, if you're going with the style of today where you're doing yeah. this flat bottom yeah, steering flat wheel. Yes. That's I've actually played around with those a bit and I kind of like them. They actually yeah. are somewhat no, functional give when you're more, driving Give you more space. And yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm really, I think the interior is minimal. It's Dad, not, not too much detail, but give a very higher quality yeah. feeling, craftsmanship, the, the gauges, and a very simple very organic form. Now do you see this yeah. type of seat design where the frame almost sits like hovers above the mm -hmm. floor? Would you see that in a production car? I think this is not very difficult. I wouldn't be difficult to inter interpret in a real yeah. car. I think it's it a can fantastic be, yeah. idea. So there's a stunning feature about this car in the back. Why don't we go ahead and oh, take a okay. look at that. So Shiro, we're at a classic car event, a major classic car event, and one of the things you always see in these cars from the 30s mm -hmm. are fitted luggage. Yeah. Now it right. seems to me that you guys have borrowed some inspiration from that. Right. Can you show us a little bit about that? Okay, I will show you. So remote control trunk. Yes. That's nothing too exciting, but wait, there's more. This is specially designed for this car by Louis Vuitton design team. So this is actually fitted luggage. Yes, perfect. From Louis Vuitton. Right, and this is exactly, you have said, we, we have a, a photograph, like a 1930s. Yeah. The, uh, luxury car has uh -huh. a specially crafted suitcase for it, that car. Okay. This is the same concept, but we interpret it in a much more modern way. It's a, yeah, it's much sleeker. If you could call yeah. luggage sleek, I don't yeah. think I would ever call luggage sleek, but this is about the closest thing to sleek luggage you'll get. And then we see it's got a platform that kind of slides yeah. almost like a picnic table. Yeah. I, I think this design is, uh, we, the you know, design team of the Infinity designers yeah. and uh, Louis Vuitton designers, we inspired each other. Mm -hmm. they, they already knew the design, our design. We mm -hmm. show them and they, they... Will you see this collaboration in some of the production models? Uh, well, this is uh, just for the creative, we say creative, okay. nothing... Uh, uh, so you uh, took some the, creative licenses? Yeah, just creative. It's not no business. I understand. It's a very uh, designer's uh, collaboration. Being the head designer of Infinity buys you a couple of privileges. So when you have a fancy concept car, you get to put your own initials on the fitted luggage. But you know, this is a tradition of uh, the specially made Louis Vuitton. Oh, really? Yeah, this is not only, yeah. only for this one. Yeah. Uh, actually, Louis Vuitton, they yeah. insisted you, we must have this. Initial. You have to have the initials. Yeah, without uh, this initial, it does not mean this so is. So they a, decided not to put CG on there? I, I, saw, I, I told them, yeah. but it, it's a. Uh, they, they, they wouldn't they, do Carlos. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's, it's nice they put your name you know, here. Somebody's name. Ah! Somebody's name. <laughs> no me, no me. This is a modest guy. Somebody. Are these your favorite colors here? This color is infinity color. Oh, that's the infinity purple. color? Yes. Okay, I understand. You seem to be very excited about this particular car. Is this a, like a personal mission for you? 
Well, not necessary, but <laughs> you know, always I like, I love this kind mm -hmm. of the two-door coupe, mm -hmm. classic coupe. Yeah. And uh, it's, if we don't have something special occasion, like yeah. a, a 20th anniversary, yeah. well, it's not easy to produce this kind of car. I can understand. But we have a very Especially good Especially in this economic environment, but it's yeah. still it's stunning to see. Yeah, this environment yeah. that nobody believed that we were going to yeah. produce, but you know, at, yeah. but at our, our emo in emotion, our soul. That, and that's exactly what this car says. Yeah. I know I'm trying to tell a story about design here and what the car looks like, but a 5.6 liter V8 with 420 horsepower, Santa Maria Madre de Dios. This thing goes like stink. I think they sprinkled a little bit of GTR pixie dust on it. Shiro is a car guy. I gotta, I wanna give you some feedback here. Okay. I, in, in, in economic times that we see today, mm. you see a lot of, not, I don't wanna say timid designs, but you don't see a, a companies taking chances. Mm -hmm. And I've gotta say that you guys, since you've been led by Carlos Ghosn, mm -hmm. you've put out some fantastic designs and still have put out some fantastic cars. Like you stick with the Z, you continue to update cars like that, and then you bring us cars totally different where it's a, a style, where we're gonna see some interesting designs in the future. I can't thank you enough on behalf of car guys everywhere for continuing to give us this kind of I stuff. I am very pleased Even in these times. Yeah. Yeah, even this time. Exactly. Right. right. That's it's, what really we separates we the men need, and the boys. We don't need to be, you know, uh, get too too much pessimistic. Yeah. We have to be optimistic for exactly. the Exactly. And that, it's in times like these where yes. we need some design direction. Right. And I can't thank you enough for that. And thank you for joining us on Moto Man. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. when your initials are on the fitted luggage of a concept car. That said, too often nowadays you hear about cars designed by and for women, but you never hear about cars with a feminine influence, kind of like Jaguars from the 50s and the 60s. Seriously, how cool is it that there's a concept car out there with a his and a hers side? Or the inspiration for the interior of this production car comes from an antique comb. Shiro and his team really have something to be proud of in the essence and the new M. They took a handsome but, let's be honest, bland car and connected the dots of its replacement to a stunning concept car. Now, I know Shiro said something to the contrary, but for the next infinity, how about we take the essence concept, sprinkle a little bit of the GTR pixie dust and make the essence reality. But then sometimes you say to yourself, you know what, I want to save myself a couple of bucks. So you go down to the cheap and cheerful store, you pull a suit off the rack, and then you feel it, and the first thing you think is, mmm, One Infinity M56. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, Infinity M56. Ah, ah, ah. Three, yes, three Infinity M56. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Yeah. So what are we thinking on terms of the roof here? Notice it's literally just one expansive glass well, yeah. from the bottom <coughs> of the C pillar all the way to the B pillar. Mm. This is uh, really give more in a actually. Root, yeah, let me restate that. Yeah, from the bottom of the A pillar. Yes, to the bat to the very top of the B yeah. pillar. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs>